Okay, so in regards to today's video, I have kept one of two promises. I did say two things. I said I would change the interior of the league room. Obviously, I haven't. But I have also done something that will make the episode feel a little bit more of a continuation, if you will, <clears throat> of the next of the last episode. Oh, that out of the way. What's going on guys? It's Dave Cinderace here and welcome back to another video. For this video, we're going to be doing episode 73 of the Pokemon Violet playthrough. In the last episode, we battled Hassel and Saguaro, I believe his name was. <clears throat> Let me double check, that's why I'm here in the first place. Yep, Saguaro. So, today... I got my special coaches mixed up. It's Nimona, not Arvin next. But I'm still going to do Arvin, seeing as how I already said Arvin's next. So we're going to bring Arvin and what's your name again? Mi Miriam. <coughs> Miriam. Miriam. Yeah, we'll, we'll call you Miriam. And I just realised we don't even have enough points for Arvin. So what I'm going to do is I will invite Miriam first. Get her battle out of the way, then I will come back when I've got the points for Arvin. <clears throat> Pardon me. We're making this place my nurse's office while I'm here, right? Oh yeah, she's the nurse. That's it. It's coming back to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if her and Arvin speak later on. But for now, let's battle her. It's a bit of a quick one, like, you know, jump straight to the point, but at the same time, look at that, Skarmory. Pretty cool. Did you know? Skarmory is real tough. Did you know that? It's got very few weaknesses. It's got electric, it's got fire. Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. It resists ice. What have you got to say, Miriam? Ah, I knew it. I figured you're the one who called me. I was super surprised when I got told this stuff about a work trip all of a sudden. Can you believe they are having me teach my first class ever here instead of back home? Just do your best, you'll be fine. Easy for you to say, you're not the one teaching the class. Oh, what am I saying? You got me over here, so I'll do my best to make the most of this. It will be the nurse's office, Blueberry Academy style. Okay. Now, we have a new team. And like I said before, I was bringing Bearmore, who we caught in the last episode. And yes, we have another, we have two more Ursaluna. And I know what you're thinking. I've already used Ursaluna, Blood Moon Ursaluna before. Yes, but... The difference, oh, it's not it's even healed up. The difference is, this Ursaluna is the one from the series that I caught in episode... <sighs> I can't even remember what episode it was, it was quite a while. But yeah, that's the Ursaluna. It's a different one from the one I used before. <laughs> we've also got the mountain, who we've seen. Eruption, who I technically don't think is a bear, but we brought him along. Uh, we have Storlax. Because I, there's not a lot of air Pokemon in here. And also we have our own Keith, um, our own uh, Ursaluna from Legends Arceus. But yeah, the most important one is we brought Bear more like I said. So let's battle Miriam and see what she has to say. What's up Nathan? Do you want to battle me or something? Your name is Dave Sindles, don't forget that. <clears throat> I did. For sure? I'm not busy doing anything anyways. I'll go to the court with you. Okay, I don't know your team. I'm imagining fairies. You'll have a Blissey or a Chansey, I like to believe. I mean, you're a nurse. You don't have a, a Comfy, I want to say. Hypno to eat away Nightmare. Insomnia, possibly. That is a weird looking pendulum. But the good thing is, our Bearmore is dark. So, that shouldn't take too long. Yeah, what it KO right from the start. And it is 
It's always a critical hit, and I think it all it breaks through protect. You've got Meganium, I've got Typhlosion. But anyways, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, then fantastic. Feel free to drop a wee like and a wee comment down below. It helps the channel continue the way it is, or the will in the future. As we have these two Johto Titans fighting it off. I believe it was last episode, if not the episode before, that I used Megarium. Oh, Substitute. Let's not have the controller acting up. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, it's not turning on. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. At least you got a good view of the place. Eruption! That actually does look like such a sick animation. Maybe other time it's just like big boulders, but that one looks like an actual eruption. We'll keep you in because it's a Galilee next. <laughs> Base 80 all around. Uh, yeah, let's go with eruption again. The good thing about this is Typhlosion, sorry, eruption's uh, HP is. Full. So that's gonna do pretty good damage. So let's bring our owner Solera, the Hisuian one. It's shiny and it's in a strange ball. Here's Electros. It's so low that the screen can't even fit it on. Liquidation, so yeah, I had an Electros one, I tried to make it competitive, it was part of my first ever Wi-Fi team. Now back then I was not one to use, like, I was a straightforward person. I figured if you had so many attacks, you're fine. Obviously I was young and naive and did not know a thing or two about competitive play. Having said that, I still had fun doing it, but I did win a couple battles along with Electros. I think the moves were Thunderbolt, Crunch, Flamethrower, Dragon Claw. Yeah, <laughs> I get a Pokemon, raise it to level 100, boom, there we go. <laughs> Nowadays, I'd put more thought into it, obviously. Like, there's more to Pokemon than just picking moves that are super effective. Today. Yeah, Big Kirchin never stood a chance. Come think of it, none of our Pokemon do it, and I'm making this look too easy. So she has a Toxapex now. Yeah, we'll stay in. Oh, I'm gonna lose! I can't believe this! Wait, why don't you have a Comfy, or a Chansey, or a Blissey? There's no, no lot of these Pokemon make sense. Hypno, Toxapex, it's your time to shine, my lovely Toxapex. Electros, I mean, Pinkurchin, none of these. Actually, Pinkurchin with no Accupressure, I think. Toxapex, it's all about using Venom and Remedies, I suppose. Hypno for Insomnia. Electros, I suppose, to numb for numbing or something. Glalie for temperature. Uh, what was her last Pokemon? I can't really even remember her team. But I suppose there's more to it than just use heal pulse. So that was easy. Oh, come on. You don't have to go all out like that. Well, the bears won. Except Snorlax and Blood Moon or Saluna, who never even got the battle. You kids are going all out. I can't keep up. 
especially you. You're way too strong. You've got to learn how to hold back a little bit once in a while. Well, since you beat me, I'll teach you this cool pose. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. I think that pose is on its way out, but it's not quite in cringe territory yet. Use your best judgement on when to whip it out. Honestly, I never use the emotes in this game. I... I, I just don't really... I forget they're even in the game, if I'm honest. So yeah, I'll show it on camera, actually. We just need to do a couple things to... Um, actually, one in there. We just need to do a couple things. Get the 200 points. Easy. Then Arvin comes, battle him. Legendary! <laughs> this might be a relatively quicker episode. So this is kind of the filler that adds the time. It'll add on a couple of minutes. Uh, that and the fact that my controller is acting up today. Nah. I've already got the filter, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, Porygon. What was the other ones? Uh, terrestrialized Pokemon? Yeah, let's terrestrialize against Porygon. No! I have a better idea. Uh, Freddy, we'll use you. It's a bear battle. I could use... Uh, I could have used Typhlosion for my own bear take, but one, bear, one Typhlosion is too strong, two, if I had used bear take, it would terrestrialize into an ice type and it would just take forever also. There's a Piplop behind us. It's a bit. what? It's a bear fight. <laughs> Sheer cold. Thanks, buddy, and I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't use it! It failed, but who cares? I can't use it. Actually, <laughs> this time, that crown looks so small in our Saluna. I hope this counts. I, I, I hope I don't have to use a move to wrestle this thing for it to actually count. Oh, no we don't. Fantastic. I don't worry about Well, that's all we had to do. I see. Let's heal up quickly and go and meet Arvin. Actually, no. I think... We are healed up anyways, because after each battle, the teams are recovered. So I don't think we have much worry about our HP. And even if we do, it adds to the challenge. Okay, Arvin, we'll bring you to this place as well. Sorry, Nabona, I didn't realise you were next, but you can wait. Return. You and Penny can have the next episode. And then after that, I will need to do off camera stuff to get Rika, Poppy, and Jita. Oh my goodness. What is going on with this? Arvin, you're coming to Unova. Hey, Nate Sundles! I came as quickly as I could, like I'd do any less for my best friend in the whole world. Oh, that's sweet of you, but even so. Right, Arvin, Penny, and Nabona, you can only get if you complete the Mochi Mayhem DLC. Oh, Arvin's talking to Kieran, not uh, Marion. Midian, uh, the partner of a boss that is really special to you, huh? Sorry, me. That's right. 
He and I have been best buds since I was a little kid and he was just a little mischief. Hey, that's just like me and my hydrapple. It's been with me since I was a little Achlan. So is hydrapple your best bud? Hmm, well, my polyrath and polytoad are pretty special to me too. Oh, and I really like my Yanmega. Yanmega's a cool Pokemon. Oh man, my favorite's also a precious pal of mine. I guess I can't pick a favourite. Yeah, he talks about his ferret. Did I say ferret before? I hope not. <laughs> hey, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with thinking every one of your Pokemon is the best. <laughs> I guess that's an option too, huh? I'll say, I mean... Cinderace is my favourite Pokemon now, but before then it was Charmander. And up until... Yeah, up until the year after Sword and Shield, I've always had a thing for Charmander. Like, something about Charmander that always was appealing, even more so than Charizard. To be honest, I saw it just came because it was you who called me and all. But man, look at this place. Blueberry Academy is something else. The classes are all battle focused, right? It's like a whole day full of our old battle study classes. I'm sure Nomona would love to have gone to school in a place like this, but I'd miss having practical classes like home, home ec and stuff. If you had to choose one, just one subject, what do you think you'd pick? Battle studies or home ec? Both of them are good, but I'd go with battle studies, honestly. Oh yeah, I guess that checks out. You're the strongest little champ. You even beat Nomona, after all. Trust me, I could lust how many champions I beat. Lou, Lance, Stephen, Wallace, Cynthia, uh, Alder, Iris, Diantha, Kukui if you want to call him one, and so same goes for Hal, Leon, Jita, Nomona. Actually, Director Clavel was telling me that if I do some studying while I'm here, I'll be able to get some extra credits for our school back home. Nice! It's our f I'd sort of fallen behind in the front on that front, but I'm so but I'm, so I'm gonna work hard and rack up those credits. That's the spirit, dude. I'm glad you're really taking this seriously. My boss has been begging me for another chance to battle you, you know? What do you say, bud? Of course, that's why you're here today. Yes! That's my best bud. I'm so ready for this. There we go, we've got his theme! This is what I like. The fact that some of these trainers have their own themes. The mountain! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the mountain has a new move. I bought the mountain a few things. She now has Icicle Crash and Charm! I'm not gonna go full Clement and say I figured I'd find I'd see I figured we'd be in a situation like this. But just in case there were any uh, physical Pokemon that were gonna give me trouble, I figured that would be handy to have. I mean, it weakens their attack by two stages. What's not to love? And not only that, we're faster than Greedent. Greedent's very slow. Yes, I could have used that before, but my, the mountain's lost quite a bit of damage, like health, so I don't plan on keeping her out for much longer. Not even against Toad's Crow, actually. Let's go, villain! Let's bring our guy Snorlax, who has Metronome! <laughs> and you bet I am going to spam the heck out of Metronome. I want to see what we get! Oh no! <laughs> Not Silver Blade! Oh 
no! Solar Blade! That move reminded me of Max Strike, where the energy kind of appears on the ground. A metal pot if it, if it raises the attack. Critical hit. Nope. Good move, good move, good, good move. Come on, come on, come on. Fury attack. <laughs> that was a critical hit, nice. Two more. Two more. No. Yeah, I'm using that again. I love making them. Nah. I was having fun! Spoiled sport. I was having fun with that! Oh well. We had a bit of a metronome extravaganza there. Garganako! I forgot you had that. Let's use bulk up. Stealth rock, so get here, more stealth rock. It means if I switch, I'd have to switch with caution. It's not like toxic spikes where I can just use a poison type and it's a poison or steel type and, and just uh, absorb the, the badness and not get poisoned. I mean if I used eruption or the mountain, yeah I can't imagine they would take the hit well, especially the mountain who's almost down. I'm paralyzed. Okay, Wicked Blue! Wow! How fast is Code Crow? But yeah, Fairmore is so much more powerful compared to the last time. I mean, Fairmore has been training for this very moment. Hello, Cloyster! Brick Break! You survived! And you barely took the hit! Iron Head was just in case the I have a situation where I may have needed it. Garganako, maybe not so much. And my boss of his main Pokemon! You're pressure you're pressing me real hard, but I've got this. Still got this. I've got my old pal with me or something like that. Yeah, so here's what I don't understand. It says that the boss stuff has two forms. I don't get that. All it does is second form. My boss stuff, you know what's coming? Shine as bright as anything, bud. Yeah, it says, they say that it's got two forms, one for morning, one for night. All it does is open it, it's like kind of grin. I don't understand what's the form change. Unless it's like a night times hunter instincts are more apparent or something. I'm getting a sense of deja vu. I really am. How did that not knock it out? Buy them to pieces with the sturdy mowers. Time for all that daily brushing to pay off. <laughs> wow. I still can't get over the fact that my boss of survived a bulk of iron head take this 
You rude Pokemon. Well, we won. Take that, dude. He wishes to try it, though. What a little battle master. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say that. I suck at competitive. <laughs> but still. Sheesh, you're a little menace in battle like usual. I tried training up my team so that we wouldn't lose to you again, but no dice. No, oh, I just remembered. I found these funny phone cases at the airport. So I bought them. A sandwich case. I thought I thought of you the moment I saw them. So there, a little present for a great battle. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, let's see what Kieran says while we're here, actually, just before we go. Hey, Nate Sanders. Man, it's been a while since I've been here, and everyone's been talking to me like normal. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Well. Everyone but Drayton. He was looking at me with a stupid grin on his face. But I still apologise to him for everything I did and how I acted. I'm glad things are working out. Yeah, me too. And it's all thanks to you, Nate Sinders. I'm going to make up for the time I lost while I was away from school. Just you watch. Good guy. That is exactly what you... That's the attitude you need. Having said that, we now have to make a little trip to the parallel world where Freddy and um, Freddy, the mountain, Eruption and Bearmore are from. Well actually not Eruption, Eruption's from here. You get what I mean. I'll be back shortly to talk to our guy Snacksworth and see who's next. So yeah, we're back in this uh, file and I meant to save but I accidentally pressed A. And then I figured I would just cut to when we got to him saying heavens to Betsy. So yeah, I do apologise about that. I know this episode feel, might feel a bit rushed, but I am trying to just add up a bit. But never mind that. I am going to say, I'm going to think of a legendary in my head and I'm probably going to be a problem. All I'm going to say is the one I'm thinking of and you'll already know the answer. It will start with M. Nope. <laughs> I guessed Moltres, but hey, Zekrom's cool. <laughs> yep, yep, we already know. I'm not going to read this part from now on. Just the part where he talks about the story. <laughs> I set out from Mezagoza, thinking I would walk all the way out to Artisan from there. I was making fine progress when this great black shadow streaks across the sky to the east. I, I was consumed with curiosity, that's for sure, so I climbed real high to try and catch a better look. And wouldn't you know it, there was Zekrom. I stared up at it like a country lad seeing his first city, and it came down to land right near me. We watched one another for a time. I couldn't help but bask in how magnificent Zekrom is. So yeah, and then he's saying the rest of that, you know, that normal stuff. The stuff I'm not going to read. So yeah, I don't know how many legendaries there are. I know we've still got about 6 or 7, I think. That might be too generous to say. So I have on my phone where Zekrom is. It's here. So we have to fly from here. No, no, no. I can't even, I've not even been there. That'll be why. I don't know why. When I heard Artisan, I, I don't know why I thought of Lavincia. Is there any legendaries near Lavincia? Yeah, there's, there's one. But we're not, we can't get it because it's in Scarlet. Which... I will do the Scarlet Legendaries at some point in the series. 
But anyways, we have plenty of Pokeballs, because remember, we stocked up last episode. Zekrom is up there. Thank, thank God we have this flying ability much quicker and so much easier to get around. It won't be hard to... Look at that. An item we don't have. There's even a rune here. I didn't even know. Wait, I might have. I'm, I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to get that item. Yeah, I'm going to shut up and not say anything about this place because I don't even know if I have or haven't been here. Uh, that's a gimme ghoul. We haven't seen a gimme ghoul in a while, actually. Uh, Zekrom! I'm assuming you'll be near the edge, actually. Or up there. Where are you? And there's a... Knackle stack. A big one. Oh, Fletto, please go away! Zekrom, where are you? Your mud bray, another big one. Where is Zekrom? It's definitely in this. I thought that was an item at first glance. Zekrom is definitely in this area. I know it. I've seen it on the map. It's definitely up here somewhere. I am just being stupid and cannot for the life of me find it. Maybe it's up here in one of these little cliffs or those little structures. There it is down there. Wow. There you are. You are so much smaller. Okay, sorry, I won't say that. But having said that, you are looking so cool. Look at that. And the the, the generator tail even has a little shine to it. That looks so cool. Yeah. I know the name I'm giving you. Oops. Yeah, I know exactly what name I'm giving you. Okay. Preparations are complete. Zekrom, I challenge thee. Shark. I thought I said shark. Oh yes, I love this theme. I actually do. This is one of my favourite legendary themes. Love this theme. Stay in the ball. One shake. Better than nothing, actually. At least we got the shake. Oh, yeah. That's gonna hurt. But the good thing is, bear mode is faster. I wanna see Fusion Bolt. Or Fusion Bolt. You know, Zekrom's signature move. I wanna see that. I wanna see the animation. Two shakes. Stop using Thunderbolt. I I am gonna hold off using either of my Ursulina until it actually uses Fusion Bolt. <laughs> I I can't even attack. Not at the moment. No way. Stop using it keeps using the same two moves. The life of luxury awaits. It does not. Do you not know it? I mean Kyogre doesn't learn doesn't know origin pulse. Maybe you don't know it. Yeah, that was a bit too early to use that. 
So you know Hyper Voice, Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt. What is your last move? Did I dare use Metro at all? No, but I will use Amnesia. In all seriousness, I will indeed use Amnesia. I do love this theme. I don't know if this counts as night time. No. Dive Ball is my favourite Pokeball. Go! At least it shook once. Fusion Ball! Yes! Wow, look at that! That is sick! So you do know Fusion Ball! Ball! Nice! Okay. I accidentally... The wire for the switch dock got caught in the arm on my chair. Three shakes! Zekrom! Believe me, a lot of legendary themes. Kyogre and Groudon, Reshram and Zekroms. Uh, I do like Solgaleo and Bonalas. Their ones are pretty good, I can't wait to hear that. But. I believe Fusion Ball is actually a physical move. Okay, it's night time, so it will definitely be Dusk Ball territory. Kung Fu was a breath of fresh air because it was so much easier to catch. And now that I know that you do indeed know Fusion Ball, I'm gonna switch to a ground type so that you don't do as much damage. Let's try a timer ball! Try it again, just in case. Stay in the ball, please. Back again. Come on, let this be it. Two shakes of a Zekrom's tail is still not enough. Ultra Ball. What to do? My there is one thing I could do: bring back Snorlax, use Metronome, hope for a weak move or a status move. But it's not even just that; as simple as that. The levels are too far apart. So even a tackle could knock out Zekrom. If it was a move like Incinerate, I think it would be okay because I don't think it can burn. All its secondary effect is that it burns away held berries. But nothing to do with burning, I don't think. And Zekrom obviously won't have a berry, so would have used it by now. 
It's just a matter of throwing bug balls and hoping for the best. Come on, Zekrom. Time is of the essence. Can't win! Stay in the ball, please. I have a cool nickname for you. I have a cool name for you. Stay in the ball! This isn't even gonna work. Not even close. There's got to be some other way that I can catch it, or at least increase my odds even a slight bit more. Hmm. We're just gonna have to keep doing this. again I suppose each time taken is another time added and also one step closer to Zekrom is in struggle that's the worrying thing so a struggle will take down Zekrom's HP further but that's the thing it's gonna take too much down if it doesn't get caught so we need you to stay in the ball Zekrom What's so wrong? I have a good nickname for you. You'll love it with the rest of the team. And the rest of the legendaries. We've caught so many. We've got Logia, Kyogre, Latias. Even Urshifu's one from the last episode. So just stay in the ball, please. No, no. I don't know what else I can do, guys. Uh, this Zekrom is just not staying in the ball. I could always use a Master Ball, but I don't want to waste them. But then I'll never use them otherwise. If I find a Shiny Pokemon, I try my best not to catch them in a Master Ball. I don't want to waste it. Uh, I really don't know what to do, guys. Three shakes, Zekrom! Stay in the ball, dude. You're really testing our patient. <laughs> Now, if this is because I chose Arvin over Nimona, I do apologise, but that's in the past. Like, this battle should be. My name starts with N, and you used to be with a trainer called N, you and Reshiram, unless you're the other one that went with Getz's. No. No, it gets this in. Hugh! No, not Hugh. Oh my god. What's his name? Yet? Hilbert, that's it. Oh no, it's learned. It's using struggle! Uh, no! No more playing around, Zekrom. The last time I tried Ursaluna, uh, sorry, the last time I tried Urshifu and didn't do enough damage. So I think it's a matter of if we can get it in the red immediately, that will give us the better chance that we were lacking. 
In all honesty, the last time we played off with Urshifu was because I wanted to see Fusion Ball. Oh my god, that damage! Let's try eruption, I hope it won't burn. It won't burn, fantastic, we're in the red now. I'm actually quite surprised that never took out eruption. Wow. Better position than the last time. This is where our Ursaluna come in. No, not there more. Ursaluna. It's too early for a timer ball, so we're just gonna have to throw Pokeballs that may have a better chance. Two shakes of a Zekrom's tail again. Let's give it a try. But it nearly worked! It nearly worked! But that was a fluke, I'm not gonna try that again. Not anytime soon. No, 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 no. Come on, critical capture! Where is the critical capture? We need for sure a critical catch. Now, let's try a uh, timer ball. Just a wee tap on the table, and it stops it from doing a roulette. Sounded loud because it was right next to the microphone where I did it. So, yeah, don't worry, the controller's fine. Oh, come on. No. Stay in the ball, Zekrom! You need to! Yay! <laughs> we got Zekrom! It's very ominous and quiet here. I wish they would kind of do that next name in screen it would have been nice to do that in fact the mountain you can stay because this is technically where you belong let's look at our guy zekrom oh before we do actually before we do let's change the name <laughs> not zekro <laughs> zekro I wanted to see how it's spelled Terra, because sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. Ours.
Terra Storm. And if I was to get Reshiram, I'd probably call it Terra Flare or something. I don't know. It depends on its uh, ability. But yeah, Terra Storm, the Zekrom. What's going on? Yep, Terra Storm the Zekrom. Stay still. We need a thumbnail for. I guess I'm using Terra Volt here. Terra Storm's Terra Volt. Let's you. We can't even. I, I really should have Dragon type Terra Pokemon, but you don't even have a Dragon type move. How does that work? But look at you, you're looking so powerful. Especially on a mountain or cliffside, whatever you want to call this. That'll be the thumbnail. But anyways, having said that, we are done with today's video. You don't even get to see your tail below? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please like the video comment on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content and also check out my twitter the amatophone and a regular it's the same name as the channel Nate Cinderace the link to that is on the channel itself that being said thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time